Dozens of states are suing Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, claiming that the platform uses addictive features to make children addicted to their sites. The federal lawsuit was filed in California today by more than 30 attorneys general. The states allege that Meta's products have harmed young users' mental health and that Instagram has contributed to a mental health crisis here in the United States. The federal lawsuit marks the latest attempt by states to rein in large tech platforms. Joining us now to weigh in on this is technology and business reporter and expert Shabani Joshi. Uh, great to see you, uh, Shabani. Thanks for joining us. Hi there. Hi, glad to be here. Uh, can you tell us what these so-called addictive features are that the states are claiming that Facebook and Instagram are using? Well, it's the algorithms that make you and I addicted to it. Um, and in reality, it is the stickiness of Instagram and Reels and social media in general that reward us with uh, more viewership, more engagement, more users, if that's what you're interested in. Um, but the challenge remains is how to protect children with this algorithm um, that is primarily driven by profit and monetization. And that is what the states are coming out against. 33 states, as you mentioned, filing. Um, in the state of California, but then eight others filing in other states, um, making it a total of 44. So you have 44 states coming out and saying, uh, Facebook parent company Meta, you need to protect our children more. It sounds like this company is just kind of doing whatever they can to provide a product that people enjoy looking at. They want to keep them on the side as long, and po long as possible and, and create an environment that they enjoy. What do you think the line is between kind of creating this popular site that entices us to use it and maybe using some kind of a tricky algorithm to addict us? I think that's what we're trying to figure out in real time. I mean, there are many question marks around the addictiveness and the damage that uh, social media imposes, and we're learning it as we go along with the research that comes along with it. This is um, this lawsuit is coming about from 2021, um, a study done inside of the company that the Wall Street Journal revealed, showing that there are adverse effects on children regarding self-esteem issues, body image issues. I think even as adults, we can face these things. Things, and we don't quite know exactly what the line is and who should be in charge of monitoring that line. Should Facebook and, the, and its parent company Meta be in charge of it? Should the states or the national government do that? Or should we as individual citizens and parents of these children be, be doing that? I think it's some somewhere uh, a, collaborative, um, a, a collaborative decision across all parties. But right now, states are coming out and saying, Meta, we expect you to do more. And what are they expecting Meta to do? I mean, are they saying, you know, make it good, but just don't make it that good? That remains to be determined. I mean, I think right I, right now we know that uh, Meta does have safeguards in effect after that 2021 report came out. They have uh, they stopped plans of putting out an Instagram light for kids under the age of 13. They halted that altogether. If you go on there, there are filters for parents. There are ways to create time gaps or take a break if you need it to be. I guess the question remains, what other safeguards are there that the company hasn't explored yet? that the states will be able to impose. And then, of course, there is a question of whether it is profiting off of the use of data from minors. Um, and then, again, the algorithm, perhaps that might be the ultimate solution. But that ends up being a very tricky scenario because as anyone who has a parent, anyone who is a parent knows, all a child has to do is alter their birth date and then they can have an adult yeah. account. So uh, it's... Yeah. Very tricky thing. We're going to have to wrap it up. It sounds a lot kind of like the argument or an analysis or an analogy with uh, fast food, right, or junk food. It's like the potato chips taste too good. The sodas taste too good. There's too much sugar, hamburgers, french fries, things like that. We all know they're bad for us, but they taste good, and so we want more. And you, you kind of have to be careful about how much you consume. Buyer beware, I guess. There might be labels on social media in the same way we expect it on, on uh, Coca-Cola or soft drink products as well. That might be a possibility. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, Shibani Joshi, uh, great to see you. Thanks so much for all the time and the input. Thank you.